Hi all, it's Tiffany, and I thought I'd create a little video today on how to make stickers. I am a first grade teacher, and first grade teachers and most elementary teachers rely heavily on stickers. So I decided to make some stickers that were personalized that depict an image that should look a lot like me to my students. Um, I use the Bitmoji app to create these stickers, and I use my Cricut. And the only other thing that I use that you will need will be some label paper. I got this from Office Depot. It is an eight and a half by 11 shipping label, but it is a full sheet and there are a hundred of them in the box. I think the box was $36.99. They had a 32% off sale today because it's their 32nd year in business. So I think I got the box for like $23, $24. So I have a hundred sheets in here and these are some of the stickers that I've created thus far using my Cricut, my inkjet printer, and my Bitmoji app. All right, in order to create your stickers, you're going to need the Bitmoji app. Uh, the Bitmoji is available on Apple as well as Android. So I have the app installed already, so I'm gonna go down here and access it. And I've already done my student stickers. Now I'm gonna do some stickers that say thanks for my colleagues. When I send quick notes to them, I like to put a little thank you at the end. So I'm gonna go and do a sticker so they'll know exactly which from when they see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste my sticker. And I'm going to actually send this text to myself. So I'm going to send it to me. And as you can see, I'm going to now receive the text too. So there it is, it popped up. So I'm going to select the text and I'm now going to use this little icon in the corner to email this text to myself. So I'm going to email that to my Gmail. Alrighty, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit send. And then I'm gonna come over to my computer. I'm gonna refresh my screen. Actually, I didn't have to refresh it because there it is. I've now emailed this to my computer, so I'm able to go into my email. I'm able to go to the image and I'm able to download it now. Once I download the image, it's going to pop up on my screen. I think it's gonna pop up on my screen, there it is. I'm going to right click and do save as. Now I've already created a folder titled stickers and in here are all the stickers I've been working on today. So I'm going to name this sticker, thanks. And as you can see, I already had one in there. So I'm just gonna override it. So there's my thanks sticker. I'm gonna hit save. And yes, I'm gonna replace it with that current sticker. So now I have the sticker. It is now saved and ready for me to access it through Design Space. So I'll switch back to Design Space. I'm gonna come over. I'm going to go into a new project. I'm going to go to Upload. I'm going to Browse. I'm going to pull up that sticker that I saved. I'm going to open it up. When I open it up, I want to make sure that I open it up. The image type is going to be a complex image type. If I select simple, I'm gonna lose the majority of the detail in my sticker. So I do not wanna select simple. I want to select complex. When I select complex, you'll see that nothing about the sticker changes. It looks exactly the same. So I'm gonna hit, hit continue. I can hit continue again because there's nothing for me to change. And I definitely want to make sure that I'm saving this as a print and cut file. There's no point in me saving it as a cut file because if I do, I have no detail and that defeats the purpose of making a sticker. I'm gonna stick with the title that I already gave it and I'm not gonna add a tag. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. Once I get it saved, I now have it over here. As you can see, there are already two other ones over here from when I was working previously or trying to record videos previously. So just for my own peace of mind, I am going to delete those. And we're going to work with that one. And we're gonna go ahead and insert that image into our blank design space canvas. 
And now I'm going to be in the process of reducing the size and making this into a sticker. Currently it is 2.59 by 2.695. And if I were to cut it, I would cut exactly what we see here. There would be nothing joining the thanks and the picture. It would just be two words just randomly stuck on a piece of paper. So what I want to do is I want to cut this sticker in a circle. So I'm going to go over here to shapes and I'm going to pull out a circle. I'm going to take this circle and put it over top of my image. And then I'm going to go to arrange and I'm going to move the circle to the back. By doing that, I can now see the circle in relationship to my image. Now, I want to get this centered. I want to make sure that my image is right in the middle of that circle. So I'm going to select them all. And then I'm going to go to a line and do center horizontally. I don't know if you can see it, but it moved over just a hair. But at least now I know it's centered. Again, this is too big for me to do a sticker for a little quick note. So I'm going to select all again. And I'm going to do two things when I select all. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of it. So instead of being 3.11 by 3.11, I'm going to change it to 1.25 by 1.25. And as you can see, everything changed at once because I had it selected together. It's a little small to work with, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in. I'm currently at 175%, but again, that's just so that I'm able to see what I'm working with. The next thing I need to do is I need to select the circle. And I only want the circle. And as you can see over here, the circle layer is darkened in, so I know that that's the layer I've circled. I'm going to change that circle to white. The reason I'm changing that circle to white is because I'm working with white sticker paper. Because the sticker paper is white, I would not want to waste ink by having the sticker, by having my printer color in this area, that dark gray color, because it would not allow my sticker to pop. So by changing it to white, I now have a white background and my sticker will be able to pop. The next thing I need to do now that I've actually changed the background is I'm going to select it all again. And I'm going to go and flatten this image. When I flatten the image, that actually puts the sticker, the round circle with the text on top of it and sandwiches them together and they become one solid layer and one image. And you can see that right here. No longer do I have two layers. I now have one layer. This layer consists of the picture as well as a circle. I'm not going to save this yet. I'm going to go to make it first. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to know how many stickers I can get on a page. I only need one page of stickers. I'm going to guess and say I can get 40 stickers on a page. As you can see, when I put in 40 as the project copies, I have a page and then I have another page. I only, for my purposes, need one page. So I'm going to change that number to 35. I now have one page or one sheet of stickers, and that's all I truly need, so that's where I need to be. So now that I know I can get 35 stickers on a single page, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to Save, and I'm going to put a name here. I'm going to title it Thanks. I'm going to put Circle. That tells me that these are circular stickers. And I'm going to put 35 PP, which stands for 35 per page. So I now know that if I pull this up from a save file, I can go straight into make. I can go over here, put 35, and know that I'm going to get a whole page of stickers. If I needed two pages, I could change that to 70, and then I'd have two mats pop up again. But I only need one, so I'm good to go. So now I'm going to come down and I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to send this to my printer because this is a print and cut. So it has to go to the printer first before it's able to cut anything. So I'm going to send it to my printer. But before I do, I want to make sure that I cut the bleed feature off. Bleeding will take color all the way to the end of the sticker and a little bit past so that you have color on the very end of the sticker and not just in the inside of it. Because my background is white, I don't need to bleed anything out. There's no background color. It's just a simple white on a white sticker. So from there, I'll go ahead and hit print. And then this will automatically go to my printer. Now, while that's going to my printer, I have the option over here to select and change up the type of paper that's going to cut. So I'm using sticker paper. 
And instead of doing the default pressure, I need to use less pressure. When I used default pressure earlier, it cut through my stickers and actually cut them all out in individual circles. So I had to switch to less pressure in order to be able to get the stickers to stay on the backing and not be a bunch of just random little circles. All right, now that I've gotten it printed off my printer, I'm gonna lay this down on the paper. I'm sorry, on my mat and just get it lined up. Now, you notice this back black box around here? This black box contains code that your Cricut is going to need in order to know where to cut your circles at. So don't try to cut that off. Leave the black box on there because that black box contains critical information about where each of the circles will go when you go to cut it on your Cricut. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna come over to my mat. I'm gonna go ahead and load it. All right, so now that it's off the cutter or the Cricut, you can actually now see where the circles have been cut. So each one of these pictures now is a sticker, a circular sticker. What I'm gonna do now is weed it. And the reason I weed that is because it's easier for me when I go to use a sticker, if I can just pull it off and not have to contend with the outside pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. I'm gonna weed it. Throw that away because I no longer need that. And now I have a complete sheet of stickers that I can use however I choose to use. So in addition to this that I cut tonight, I've also cut these that say awesome. These with a question mark, these are for the students who do not put their names on their papers. These that say aw oh, yeah. Some star shaped ones that say great. These are a little bit too small. I'm gonna use them, but they're still a little bit too tiny. I have some round ones that say A plus, nice work. And then I have these that say good job. And again, these are personalized stickers because this is my personal Bitmoji that I created to look like myself. And I was able to take those Bitmoji images from my phone, put them into an email, email them to myself, save them in a file, and then pull them up in Design Space and create my stickers. And again, the paper that I used was this one. I got it from Office Depot, eight and a half by 11 inch shipping label. These are full sheets of stickers, okay? The whole eight and a half by 11 is sticky. There are 100 in the box. Again, you do not have to use this. Any type of eight and a half by 11 full sheet of sticking label paper that you can find, you can use, whether it come from Walmart or it'd be the Cricut brand. Again, any questions, feel free to inbox me and I promise to answer you back. Thanks so much, guys.